It hurts. Nuts are good for your brain. Hello people of the internet. Grab a snack, this is gonna be an interesting video. I'm a super busy student, presently enjoying COVID, quarantine, online lessons. I don't have any time to count calories or think about losing weight. I just don't care. But there's no days without peanut butter, nuts and fruit and nuts and peanut butter and yeah. I'm not Ariana Grande, but I'm vegan 90% of the time. This video is pretty much gonna cover a full week of emotions, my ugly workout face and of course lots of brilliant, lazy, easy and tasty foods. You just won't stop screaming at me. Cut my nuts. <laughs> nuts are good for your brain. The best thing you can do with peanut butter is either eating it straight out of the jar with some celery preferably. Oh, this is, by the way, like my breakfast uh, almost every single day. The day is saved. <laughs> the week can only start well when you open a new jar of peanut butter, right? So back to the initial breakfast type of creation. Um, while listening to online class, uh, more or less, I always top the celery sticks with peanut butter, raisins, a pinch of salt and cinnamon. So, so good. So good. Lunch and dinner was just a gift from heaven. I had lots of these peanut butter Asian noodles because there has not been enough peanut butter in the day before. This is from my tasty student meals video. And God bless me, this peanut butter dish, those noodles, I would, I if I could, I would literally dive into them. They are so amazing. Highly, highly recommend. I filmed an entire grocery haul the other day. Hence, I'm having these panda cookies, which were a part of this haul. If you would like to see exactly what I eat for a typical week, comment a grocery haul. Nah, I will probably upload this either way, so comment whatever you like nice. or just don't by the way when i go on walks my russian soul would never return empty-handed there's literally 280 kilograms of apples on my balcony um, much needed for snacking in the morning i would just get up straight out of bed and walk over to my workspace turn on the laptop i'm, I'm just not quite there yet so it takes me a while to wake up it's so bad, like, I can't even be bothered. After slowly waking up and being a bit more bothered about my breakfast, I tend to make something cold, mostly. This time we had a classic chocolate shake with frozen banana, some spinach that just looks like green vomit, I know. Then some avocado, cacao powder, some sort of reduced cacao protein which isn't really tasty but i don't even know what i'm doing in the morning cookie dough flavor drops to enhance the flavor maybe a pinch of salt here and there maybe some ginger um depends on the mood i really focus on making some booty gains in one or another way but today it was my little arms that i trained also then i always make some kind of ab workout if i feel like it i am not feeling myself without the workouts i have a nice workout face so after i trained and trained and trained i had already prepared myself some overnight peanut butter oats just basically soaked oats in an almost empty peanut butter jar. The go-to breakfast that I also always had back in high school. Really, really do recommend trying this. All in, all in on the peanut butter. And another item that was protein bread from my grocery haul. There's some banana and raisins and lots, lots of cinnamon on top. 
more nuts. I always eat a bunch of nuts. And there is the leftover shake, smoothie shake type of thing. Also to be found on my Instagram, if you're curi curious. I do very much recommend the show Breaking Bad. I just love it. Some chocolate. Some lovely French toast is what I made on the weekend. If you haven't watched my video, what are you doing? This French toast, it literally tasted like cinnamon pancake cakes and it makes you gain muscle, allegedly. Delicious, awesome breakfast. You should make it with the measurements that I'm gonna leave down below. My food choices are weird and so is this black pasta. Time management skills are key for me. Making dinner at the same time. Best things have to be cooked simultaneously and they should be easy to make Ooh. and super delicious. I can try. <laughs> it's okay. Just gonna add on some of that delightful Ali sauce. It's so freaking good. Like, can't even. Basil technique. Nuts, walnuts, and other nuts. Is anyone else so weird and eats pasta with ketchup? It's a childhood treat of mine. I cleaned up. Yeah. Spices. So my celery, I always, always eat with peanut butter. It's just so good. It's called ants on a log. Some raisins. That was too much. Bread or whatever. Leftover guacamole. Tahini's underrated. I'm literally a chef. It's so good. This yogurt is so so good. It's with like oats and I don't know. It's pretty yummy. I think it's so much fun to try vegan alternatives and experience new flavors. Another panda cookie. Ain't she sweet? It doesn't have to be pricey. Like for instance, I got this apple pie flavored cocoa powder, reduced. And I feel this weird occasional need to try all kinds of weird healthy stuff sometimes. I can eat really simplistic and not fancy at all, but it, you know, it's just much more fun that way to step out of your comfort zone and try new things. Please tell me if you can relate. If not, that's okay, but you should consider um, grabbing new items and I, I really try to encourage everyone Happy, to do it. Healthy apple I don't think I need a form. So the secret to a better tasting sandwich is here it comes adding tomato paste as a thin layer on top of your whatever you're using hummus or maybe vegan butter which I have also been really obsessed with recently. Tahini is underrated. Notice, tahini is underrated. By now we know avocado makes me happy. Guacamole too makes me happy. There's appropriate Italian pizza spice seasoning, vegan cheese and some lettuce in my sandwich too. Right. And here's a golden sandwich creation, plus more nourishing, colorful foods to go with it. Also really good with tomato soup. And yeah, that's basically it. Amazing combo, highly recommend you try this out. Munching on savory crisps, salty nuts and avo crackers has just gained almost as much importance as peanut butter in my life. Here's yet another diversion of flavors. 
and Pamela Reif's favorite spice topping. It's not really good, but I don't know. I gotta use that up now. I love these avocado crackers so much. Basically, everything. I can't deal. I'm always just so proud of my little rice cakes that I sometimes post photos of them on Instagram if I feel like it. So I've just recorded a video in my closet and now I'm gonna make the best ever sweet dinner of all time. Yeah. <laughs> this is really, really good. I'm so excited. Just a... And then to my yogurt, I'm just adding the tiniest bit of honey to give it like, I don't know, that flair, that pizzazz that it needs. Also got my nuts. Breaking bad. Where the hell did you get this? And we have another apple. But a fat, yeah, I like that. Sleep all day, just a cat that. But a cup and a cup and a Hershey. Camel like, always thirsty. Will I ever grow to the guy that I think of? I'ma get this slow as a sky. Is it a Monday? I don't know. It didn't really spark my interest to get up or excite me in any way. I'm having a really hard time here. It rarely happens that I get changed at all to like midday. But I'm trying to make the best out of it. Guess what? I eat avocado toast differently. By the way, my um, uni password is avocado30. So if you want to write my next exam for me or use that password as a code to save up to 20% on your next Amazon and school supply purchase, please go for it and thank you in advance. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Breakfast is served. This actually tastes better than what it looks like. So. As I've previously mentioned, I'm trying to make some gains, um, which can be quite difficult for me sometimes. Therefore, I spontaneously decided to make those toasted nut vanilla white chocolate protein balls, mainly consisting of chickpeas and a bunch of good other stuff. You should make them because I don't know, they just they just turned out really tasty, you know. It smells so amazing. I highly recommend that you use roasted nuts. It's a million times better. Uh, then she made me at the college. Her friends play my songs and they've been following. Bye. What is that? Please save yourself from the Stranger Things creature coming out of my arm. Oh my god. <laughs> it's freaking insane. I, I just can't. I look like a cartoon character. Some celery sticks. So dancing, working out and singing made me quite hungry. Therefore we are having a legendary peanut butter snack on the menu today. Easy and quick with peanut butter granola recipe right here only four ingredients peanut butter granola life-changing it's so good recipe linked up here you best believe and there's some more stuff on the side mm, they smell so amazing like coconut heaven cookie dough or something look like art look like art look like art look like art look like art
for dindins, I decided to make my second favorite type of Asian noodle soup. Yes, there is garlic and onion in the game, as well as ginger, peanut oil, some carrots. Then I bought that very practical oyster sauce to use in my Asian dishes. Am I doing that right? I don't know. I just I just go for it. Watch a couple of videos a couple of years ago and here I am. Those are like buckwheat spelt type of noodles by the way. Those cook super quick but you could also use rice noodles. And don't forget lots of Chinese Asian spices. To thicken that up you'll just have to use some cornstarch and you're basically done. You could add even some tomato paste or ketchup to boost these flavors a little bit. I'll just have this with some of these chili crackers. I love these. This looks like a ginormous chili. There's another avocado cracker rice cake um, favorite thing on earth. You know by now. Why does everything remind me of Kung Fu Panda um, suddenly? I love that movie. <laughs> mm. He's in jail. Tuesdays are a bit more chill usually, so why not combining that rarely occurring event with a coffee booster shake? Yes, that is my all-time favorite coffee type of thing to drink. You're gonna feel the adrenaline and gains kicking in afterwards, I'm, I'm telling you. We have a spinach coffee shot, very strong. Today we have some almond butter. Once. <laughs> You'll be okay. Don't you worry. Always want to make sure to add a good amount of banana and preferably vanilla protein powder to your shakes. That's not everything. This is how you make a high calorie dressing from scratch. I still got some salad to use up. Tofu noodles. Like, I'll just have them cold because it's winter. Dinner for one, be served. Save the last bit of energy of yours for the climax of this video. It's Wednesday, which means math day. I have this weird schnitzel craving right now. So weird. It's 8 a.m. in the morning. Breakfast be served, but not without the peanut. <gasps> Who the fuck is your style? I told that bitch my cousin. Reached out, picked out, can't do in my herb. Do it be like her. I'm Gucci. Life. Atlanta for a week. Gonna start a bump and gonna. Bodies for the freaks. So freaking excited. I'm just here to pass 
the word, deal, nigga. Out of my head, hanging up the fucking Yeah, so that's just me focusing on my inner thoughts and ideas and feelings towards food rather than on what's happening externally. Um, I'm shocked. This tastes real, but it's vegan. It's vegan. What's your favorite hobby? Uh, magnets. Uh, ghouls. Whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, it all depends on how you process the world around you. I personally love being alone. I am really comfortable that way. Although I don't mind talking to people. I'm a daydreamer who loves cooking. Sometimes messages on my phone give me stress and anxiety. Plus uni pressure leads to emotional breakdowns. So please just leave me alone, mom. Yeah, you best believe I mostly get texts and calls from my mom, which is sad. She just wants to make sure that this I'm is still alive smashingly though. smashingly right, like, save the mango. I hope that content pleased you in some sort of way and that you found my video interesting to watch and that you feel better about your life now. Cause as you can see, mine, um, I'm the worst. It's a hot mess and Okay, bye. Mm, mango with peanut butter. Mm. Okay, bye. I hate doing this. I got a shower.